On the 12th of March, 2018, this YouTube channel will be registered to the platform under the name Kate Yup, officially beginning what would become one of the strangest YouTube stories of all time. The first video posted to the channel a month later would feature a small, blindfolded, anonymous individual demolishing five kilograms of salmon. And in the months following, Kate Yup would upload consistent seafood mukbang videos based on a similar premise. With new viewers initially intrigued by the odd nature of the videos, Kate Yup would slowly build an audience. And with such came an escalation in the extravagance and abnormality of the mukbang videos being completed on the channel. As time progressed, while she continued to maintain her anonymity, the audience got more and more curious as to who the girl was behind the Kate Yup channel. Viewers initially saw her as some quirky seafood lover who was hiding her face to avoid public recognition, but when she started to display clear physical injuries within her mukbangs, the audience began to assume a darker motive behind why she was hiding her face. Numerous out-of-the-box conspiracy theories began to mount as she would spell out secret help messages within the annotations in her videos. She would respond to the audience with strange, seemingly forced community posts, ensuring that there was apparently nothing to worry about. The nature of her channel got weirder and weirder. Teeth falling out during mukbangs, whispering male voices in the background telling her to eat faster, until the 10th of November 2019, when she would post one final video and completely disappear off the internet. With the disappearance following so many mysterious events, the audience wanted answers. So they would retrace back to the point at which things started to change, hoping to figure out why on earth Kate Yup had gone missing. Anyone else notice those bruises on her arms? What happened to your arm? She acts like a crackhead with all her movements. And all the bruises? This was the video that began to raise suspicion surrounding the safety of Kate Yup. She would appear on screen in front of well over 10 million people with a clear bruise on her left arm accompanied by a deep cut on the left side of her lip. Kate, are you okay? And those bruises? Well, I was just gonna tell you that I love you and take care of yourself, God bless you. People certainly showed concern. However, at this point, since nothing like this had been seen on the channel before, the audience assumed that it was a one off and that perhaps she accidentally hurt herself in a one-off incident. However, concerns would escalate after Kate Yup posted a video titled, I lost my tooth during this meal. Spotting a correlation in physical injuries, a percentage of the audience started to assume that maybe there was something a little more sinister going on behind the scenes of her anonymous mukbang film set. The paranoid amongst her viewers began to go off into the conspiracy theory deep end. That is bruises. I heard a voice with, I will kill you. And why is she rushing? She is kidnapped. That's it guys. She's either a hostage or a really good actress. Please Please, Kate, don't hide your secret. We're always there for you. Let's explain what's wrong with you. The main theory was that Kate Yup had been kidnapped and was being forced to make the videos at the request of her captors. Now, as insane as this sounds, the theory spread like wildfire. Perhaps people were just looking for a bit of drama to get involved in, but the comments section across each and every Kate Yup video began to fill up with people discussing their own theories for why they believed she had been captured. The insanity of such theories led Kate Yup to refute the claim in a pinned comment on the video. Every other claim, aside from the brutal bruises is just silly. Why would a captor let her edit the videos? That doesn't even make sense. Her lip does not look busted. It's either a cold sore, which would explain it showing up more than once, or a bad blemish. The explanation from the Kate Yup channel was extremely reasonable. Why on earth would her kidnappers allow her to film, edit, and upload seafood mukbang videos while she was in captivity? The more realistic amongst her audience would be satisfied with Kate's explanation. Her being kidnapped wouldn't make much sense. Why would they make her post stuff that could get them caught? Two signs that your kidnapper is a good guy. He gives you a device, he gives you the Wi-Fi password. She is not well at all, but the kidnapping thing is a little ridiculous. None of this video confirms anything. However, for the more conspiratorial types, Kate Yup's pinned comment just created more questions. Why on earth was this written in third person? Was there a deeper reason to why they had written so much attempting to dispute the claim? Or was this whole thing a deliberate move to try and spark more intrigue around who Kate Yup really was with the goal of growing the channel's audience? With the internet being the internet, many assumed the worst and continued to look for further clues to confirm their already existing belief, being that Kate Yup was being held captive. And it wouldn't be long before they found more evidence to confirm the claim. In one particular video uploaded in March 2019, a male voice can be heard in the background seemingly giving commands to Kate Yup. We can hear someone breathing, but it's not the breath of Kate. How'd she eat all that honey with no reaction? It's like she's being forced. Poor girl, something shady is going on for sure. The smile and wave at the end is that of someone trying to hide their pain. She is not okay. Once again, attempting to reinforce that everything was okay, Kate Yup would make a YouTube community post stating, Hello everyone, it's urgent to clarify my situation. Everything is okay for me. Nobody's forcing me to eat and I don't have any health problem. These marks on my arms were caused by the sun, just like this wound on my lip, usually called 
called herpes labialis. I love what I do. Be sure. Thanks, you. For some fans, just like the previous post from Kate Yup, this was enough to discount the kidnapping theory altogether. But those with a tinfoil hat firmly stuck to their head maintain the theory that she was being held captive. And to give them credit, this post was a little fishy. Saying that it's herpes when that is not how herpes looks. That's not a code sore either. It looks like you got a busted lip. Why was she using such an unusually positive tone? Similar to the first pinned comment, why was she going to such an extent to try and prove that she was okay? Wouldn't she have just ignored what people were saying and continued to make videos? There needed to be more clues, so the videos were scoured further. The next theory, which actually had some reasonable evidence behind it, was that within her videos, Kate Yup was attempting to send the audience secret signals via Morse code. Approximately 5 minutes and 35 seconds into one of her mukbangs, Kate is seen tapping on the side of the bowl in some kind of distinct pattern. At some time in the video, she tried to use Morse code, which the comments had roughly translated to, I need help. Kate Yop would once again respond to the comment by stating, It's not Morse code. That isn't even how Morse code works. It's a series of short and long pulses. Even thinking outside of the box by assuming she is using one finger for long pulses and one finger for short pulses, she taps three fingers on the bowl. It is just random tapping. There's no correlation between her tapping and Morse code. I couldn't identify a single letter. Another commenter who appeared to understand Morse code would then state, If it is Morse code, it doesn't spell help. If she is trying to Morse code help, it's not clear and hard to identify. The Morse code theory was certainly a stretch, seemingly theorized by people who wanted to prove their own existing bias. However, there were another two undiscussed hidden messages within the video that seemed far more legitimate. Edited into the annotations were the following four messages. Hey, I'm still alive, my friends. You can see to my smile. Everything is okay for me. Look at me. Are you really thinking I'm forced to eat? Prawn. Just similar than giant shrimps and easier to eat because I removed the skin. The first four letters in each sentence spelled out a frightening word, help. Many believe that this was a deliberate cryptographic call for assistance aimed at her YouTube audience, deepening the conspiracy even further. Another annotation read, the meat is so delicious, soft and tender, with the letters SOS highlighted as if Kate Yup was attempting to call for help. Was she simply capitalizing the letters randomly to add emphasis to the words? Was the tapping purely a coincidence? Was it just accidental that the four letters of the message happened to spell out help? Or was it done with the goal of getting people to talk about her channel even further. This theory made sense. After seeing how much promotion Kate was receiving from these wild conspiracy theories, it wouldn't be far-fetched to say that she was milking it and giving deliberate fuel to the theories with the goal of growing her channel. The community was split. Was she a troll? Was she being held captive? Was there another undiscussed reason behind the strange nature of her content? With every video and clue posted, viewers believed that they were getting closer and closer to the truth until the 10th of November 2019 when Kate Yup would disappear, leaving multiple questions unanswered. For those those who believed she was a captive, the disappearance felt like confirmation that their theory was correct. Alternatively, perhaps Kate Yup was aware of how much exposure she'd receive if she just went completely silent. It's not often that a YouTuber will get mass media coverage under the condition that they simply do nothing. So why not take the opportunity? Regardless, the more important question was this, where had she gone? On the absolutely wacky end of the theories, a Redditor by the name of Ashmel15 began to believe that Kate Yup was a Polish UFC fighter by the name of Joanna, but was hiding her face as showing herself as a mukbang YouTuber would have been detrimental to her image as a UFC fighter. Kate Yup and Joanna looked almost identical in terms of weight, teeth, nose, and facial structure. Additionally, many thought that Kate Yup would need to have been engaged in a high degree of physical exercise in order to maintain her small figure given how much she ate in each mukbang. The theory also explained the loose teeth, bruising, and split lips. Not a cut, but I saw something on her lip. The exact place, Kate Yup, has the cut. Not the cut, but like something on her lip. It's like a cold sore of something of a sorts. So that would make complete sense. However, at the same time, Kate Yup had a visible tattoo on her wrist while Joanna did not, reducing the likelihood of this theory being a reality. An even wackier theory claimed that Kate Yup might have been missing teenager Carly Goose, who went missing in October 2018, approximately 13 months before Kate Yup would disappear from YouTube. I found out there's a missing 16-year-old girl named Carly Goose and both have similarities. Brunette, same nose, chin, skinny bod, even smiles. Similar to the UFC fighter theory, all people really had to go off was physical features. And when looking a little deeper, this theory can only be described as comically insulting. It assumes that Carly Goose made herself disappear in October 2018, then in the 13 months following, while remaining missing, would become a mukbang YouTuber without informing anyone of her whereabouts. Perhaps the most substantial evidence proving how bad this theory is, is that Carly Goose was American, while Kate Yup's first videos were posted in French, and is heard speaking with a French accent throughout the first video posted on her channel. Hey guys.
This brings us to a YouTuber named Toria Kinlove, who is confident that she knows who Kate Yup really is. Y'all, yeah, I think I just found out who Kate Yup is, right? So I'm doing my little research on her. Toria explained that by using Google Images, she found a Facebook photo posted by a French male individual who had tagged someone else in the photo named Kate Yup. Toria explained that the girl in the photo was wearing the same rings as Kate Yup. Now in the photos, when I zoomed in on her fingers, it had the ring. She wears these rings in her mukbangs that, you know, when she eats, you can see them in the camera and I'll include screenshots. And compared the hair color, facial structure, and general stature as being almost identical. Suspiciously, the photo posted to Facebook tagging Kate Yup has since been removed by the business. Additionally, this video uncovered that the cooking grill being used in the videos was a French grill made and sold in France, while also displaying a Coke bottle that appeared to be written in French. Overall, Toria seemed to confirm that Kate Yup was certainly from France, while providing pretty good evidence that the girl in the Facebook photo had a high probability of being the real Kate Yup. Approximately one week ago, according to Kate Yup's social blade, she deleted or unlisted a 17 million view video from the channel. This appears to be the video during which her teeth fall out and was possibly removed by YouTube as it breached their guidelines. I'll turn Alternatively, perhaps Kate Yup removed the video manually, showing us that she's still alive and active out there somewhere. But whether or not she'll be replacing this deleted video with a new seafood mukbang is anyone's best guess.